morning. I want the Lord to rest. How many want that rest? I want the Lord to rest upon my heart and hear. Listen, listen, listen. God didn't create us to carry things that we can't control. But if you release by faith and say, Lord, I'm giving it to you. I'm putting it in your hands. This battle is too big for me. My arms are too short, God, to deal with. But today, God, I'm releasing my faith. I'm activating my faith at today. I look at somebody and tell them today, I'm giving it to God. Now say, Lord, it's yours today. It's yours, Lord. 
Amen. Thank God, amen, for, amen, on yesterday, amen, we, amen, or they, amen, said goodbye, but not forgotten, amen, so long, but not forgotten, amen, because we know they're going to see him on the other side. The Vanderbilt family, we're certainly praying for you, amen. Come on, let's thank God, amen. A few of them are here with us on today. But our prayers are with our own, the elder Vanderbilt, amen, as well as Mother Vanderbilt this morning, amen, and the Vanderbilt family, amen, that God will strengthen them in the days to come, in the days to come, amen. God has a healing for you, amen. And when I tell you, amen, you don't have to be a member to leave here with something that you'll always remember. The Greater New Bible Way family by. And I just believe next Sunday will be no exception. I'm smiling. I'm trying to hold down the excitement, amen, about what the Lord is going to do. Amen. For those of you that are in attendance, amen. We just love giving. Last year, we blessed every youth Every young person with a bicycle, amen, a helmet, the protection gear, amen, scooters, amen. We just went into a blessing frenzy for our youth, and the Lord blessed us. Listen, the spirit that our founders set here over some 44, 45 years ago, it's still alive. This ministry is about giving back to the community, blessing others. Not about all that we can get, but what can we give? Yes. Amen. A week ago, we blessed over some 250 families in the community and amen, and citywide with food baskets. Amen. It's because of you, Greater New Bible Way. You make it possible. And that's why the ministry is blessed as it is. We love you. Amen. Come on, let's thank God. Amen. For Peter Jackson. He and his family is the spearhead. Amen. Of this. Amen. And ever since he's had this baton, he's been running. Amen. And doing a great job of this. Tell somebody it's word time now. It's word time now. Amen. So now, remove all the distractions. Amen. All those things that may hinder you. Those that are viewing, amen. Now it's time, amen, to get in that comfortable place. Amen. Where you can hear what the Spirit has to say unto the church. And I just believe, amen, as we stated earlier, it doesn't matter the burden that you carry. God brought you here for a reason and for a purpose today. So that you will be Lift it so that you will be free today. The man of God that is getting ready to come, amen, is going to minister the word today. He is our assisting pastor here. Amen. He is a faithful man. He is a dedicated man. Amen. And most of all, he is a true man of God. And I'll say that again. He's a true man of God that loves God with all of his heart, soul, and soul. And his mind. Amen. And I want you to give to him your undivided attention. Amen. As he get ready to come. Amen. And preach the gospel. Amen. After the choir would have sung. The next voice that you will hear. Will be none other than assisting pastor. Elder David White. Amen. Before he come I'm so glad for one of the sons of our church. Minister Darrell Tickwell, can y'all show me some love? I'm so glad. We're so glad to have him home. He's just on loan, y'all. He doesn't really know that just yet, but amen, he's coming back home. We love him just that much, don't we? God bless you, Minister Tidwell. Amen. At this time, will you all receive the praise team under the direction of Sister Chandra?
come on, everybody. Just give them a great big hand praise, if you will. Amen. What a mighty God we serve. He's so wonderful. God is so wonderful. Every time you turn around, He keeps on blessing you. Every day. Every day God does that. Lift your hands up and say, Lord, I believe. Come on, say it again. Say, Lord, I believe. Now look at somebody else and say, I am a believer of God's word. Come on, give them another great big round of applause. What a mighty God we serve today. We thank God for his presence with us on this morning and certainly the house has been addressed. And we certainly thank God for this great man of God, our own pastor, Pastor Dennis J. Rogers Sr. Come on, give God some praise for him. Amen. Certainly we honor his presence in this room. And I just believe that God has something through his word that will bless you on today. Amen. I believe that. And I, after we have shouted, danced all around, it takes the word of God to save us. It takes God's word to save us. Hallelujah. A shout without salvation. Amen. It's not much. But if you can shout with the Holy Ghost. Amen. You have a lot to give thanks to God for. Praise God. I'm going to go into the word of God on today. And certainly, I trust that you receive something from God. How many of you today that are experiencing darkness around your, maybe around your home, in your neighborhood, your community, you see darkness on your job? Even in the lives of people that come to church pretty regularly, you see that darkness in their life. How many know that there's a light that must shine? There's a light that must shine. And I believe that in this day and this time in which we live, there's a need for the light to be turned on. Somebody shout hallelujah. I want you to go with me today to the book of St. John chapter 1. The book of St. John chapter 1. And we'll begin reading at the first verse of the first chapter of St. John, the last of the four gospel that is written by the apostles. In St. John chapter 1, we began at the first verse, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that was that has been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of men. The light shines in darkness, and the darkness has not understood it. There came a man who was sent from God, whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify concerning that light, so that through him all men might believe. He himself was not that light. He came only as a witness to the light. Yes, sir. The true light that gives light to every man was coming into the world. He was in the world, and though the world was made through him, the world did not recognize him. He came to that which was his own, but his own did not receive him. Yet to all who received him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. Uh, you may read Sons of God. And I'll conclude reading there.
Today I want to speak to you on this thought, where is that light? Where is that light? Yes, sir. Light is something that we are accustomed to, just like now. You see the lights in here? The light gives us vision to see with the eyes that God given us. Even with eyes to see if darkness is present, your vision is limited. And sometimes gross darkness can be uh, uh, can bring a situation in your life that all of a sudden you panic because you cannot see. I don't care who you are. When you reach a point where you cannot see, different things goes into your thoughts and into your mind. But the Bible tells us that in the beginning, in the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God. Why? Because the Word was God. Because the same was in the beginning with God. Nothing that was made that was not made by Him. There is all, we see all creation. And we enjoy the benefit of Mother Earth. We enjoy the fruit of our labor. We even have a system here in the, in the United States of America. If the government assistant will assist those that are unable to perform their duties in work, or those that are sick and cannot work, it gives you a, subs a subsidy to survive with. And many people in this world today, we sit around and we see things happening right before us. And we wonder and we question what's going on. The only one that are in darkness is those that have not accepted the light. Now you can be at home and you can enjoy the light in your house, but if you don't pay your bill. sit at home and you can enjoy the television, amen, you can, uh, amen, you can maintain the food with your refri refrigerator, you can enjoy the electric stove that you got, but without the source of power, it's no good. The worst thing that can happen is in the heat of the summer and they cut your lights off when the air conditioner goes off. Well, I'm Speaking today concerning the world in which we live. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The people of the world are looking for that light yes, that we sometimes portray yes. but never demonstrate. Yes. Oh, somebody say amen. amen. You know, a person can go around, you know, naturally, you can say this man is light skinned and that man is brown skinned. Uh -huh. But the reality of the fact that the people that see you behold you, who you for who you are. I can't pass as a light skinned man. Y'all ain't gonna give me that. <laughs> but I'm not ashamed of being a dark skinned man. I don't try to, amen, compare myself to a light skinned person. I don't try to do things that, 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 that will make me, amen, think that I'm a light-skinned man. For I know who I am. Amen, I'm a dark-skinned brother and I wear it well. Y'all ain't gonna hear me here today. Somebody shout hallelujah. But the point I'm driving today, there's many Christians that say they uh, uh, walk in the light, but yet the world never saw the light yes, sir. that you say that you hold in your heart. Some of the most hateful folks in the world today are those that sit up in church on Sunday morning. Oh, y'all ain't gonna hear me here today. We see a world that, amen, that's overtaken by evil. Overwhelmed by darkness. A world that we see that is running rampant, amen, with murder, suicidal death. And yet the church is sitting at a comfortable position. 
We're so fearful now that we, as the church, are afraid to witness to somebody on the street. But the Bible tells me the enemy gaining was. Oh, y'all ain't going to hear me here today. If we say that we represent Jesus, I just want to know where is the light. So often we can, amen, cross folk that say that they're born again. And you'll find out how born they are when they open their mouth. Because they'll soon let you know that I can lay this religion down when I want to and I can pick it back up when I want to. But the world is looking for somebody. The Bible said the world moan and groan for the true manifestation of the sons of God. For a church where love flows because God is in control, a church where God is really real. Hi, my name is Dennis Rogers, pastor here at the Greater New Bible Word Church of God in Christ. I would like to welcome you to our services.